It's the new federal law to label some GMOs. This law passed in 2016 as a way for the federal government to respond after many people in many states like Vermont and California wanted to require GMO labeling on their food. The law itself is called the National Bioengineered Foods Disclosure Standard, and it actually goes into effect in January 2022, which is when we may begin to see some of these new BE food labels. Bioengineered food is a new term that may be unfamiliar to people. It's another word for GMOs, but it doesn't cover all GMOs. It can be quite confusing. Under the new law, bioengineered foods must contain detectable modified genetic material in the end product in order to require a label. And that leaves out a lot of GMOs. Unfortunately, no. Ingredients that come from GMO crops that are highly refined, like sugar or cooking oil, will not be considered bioengineered because they don't contain any detectable modified genetic material. GMOs made from new techniques like gene editing and synthetic biology are largely ignored. The definition of bioengineered foods will actually allow certain foods created with new technologies like CRISPR to slip into the food system without being labeled. You won't know until January. That's because the disclosure can take several forms. It may just be a sentence or two on the package that says the product contains BE ingredients. It may be a phone number or a quick read code that you have to scan with your phone to get more information. So the simple answer is we don't know because companies will be able to choose a lot of different uh, modes potentially of making this disclosure. Unfortunately, no. The BE disclosure identifies some products that contain GMOs. Because it overlooks many forms of GMOs, it's not a reliable way to identify and avoid GMOs, like those in highly processed foods, many foods produced uh, with new GMO techniques like CRISPR, and milk, meat, and eggs that are produced by cows or chickens who are fed GMO corn or soybeans. Just keep looking for the butterfly. The Non-GMO Project maintains the most rigorous and comprehensive standard for avoiding all GMOs and for voting with your dollars to grow the non-GMO and organic food supply.